Woe unto those that are at ease in Zion. Y'all, this is not a time where we as the body of Christ need to be sitting down, sitting back with our feet kicked up, drinking our coffee, watching TV and scrolling on our cell phones. This is an hour where we need to be on our faces, praying, fasting and seeking the face of God because the things that are getting ready to come, many will not be able to stand. The Lord gave me this vision not too long ago. And I'm just going to read it for you guys. It says, in a quick vision, I saw a rug being pulled from under someone and it caused the person to fall and land on their knees in prayer. And I believe that God is showing us that he is getting ready to cause a great shaking in the body of Christ. And this shaking, it will literally wake people up out of their slumber and comfortability. It will bring people to their knees again in humility to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. So I truly believe you guys that we are getting ready to be tested. Our faith is getting ready to be tried under that fire like never before in these last days. We cannot be at ease in Zion. It's time to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. It is time for us as the body of Christ to get out here, preach the gospel, share our faith. It's time to go forth, to do the work of an evangelist. It's time to fulfill our ministry and do all that God has called us to do in this hour. I want to challenge you to get out of your comfort zone. It don't matter if you are afraid. God wants to give you boldness. God wants to give you courage. All you got to do is step out in faith. Be a willing vessel. Let the Lord use you. Don't look to yourself and your incapabilities, but look to God and, and his possibility because all things are possible with him. He can literally do in you what you cannot do in and of yourself. So I'm telling you, Offer up yourself as a living sacrifice unto God. Let yourself be used for his glory because we are living in a time where this world is dark. It's growing darker and darker, colder and colder. People are lost. People need to know Jesus. People need to know that there is life. There is hope in him. And how will they know unless there is a preacher? How will they know unless we are sent? My God. So it's time to go forth because God has commissioned many of you. Many of you have heard the call. Many of you have been ignoring the call because you're afraid. You're afraid of failure. You're afraid of man. You're afraid of, of what people would think about you. But now is not the time to be afraid. Now is the time to go forth and fulfill your ministry. I'm telling y'all, woe unto those that are at ease in Zion in the times that we're living in. We are getting ready to see a great shaking in the body of Christ that literally will cause people to come up out of their slumber and to come up out of their comfortability. I'm telling you, if you do not make the choice yourself to come up out of your comfortability and go forth and do what God has called you to do, that great shaking will force you up out of that place of comfortability. I'm telling you, you will be forced into a place where you're going to have to pray. You're going to have to seek the Lord. You're going to have to go forth and do what God is calling you to do because that is the times that we're heading into. So I pray that y'all take heed to that message. I pray that it bless you in Jesus name.